On today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we're taking a look at a new pedal from Walrus Audio, the Polychrome, and it is a cool looking pedal. Yeah, they got me with the, the they got me with the graphic. They really did. It looks As a cool. formal animal, a, a former reptile breeder, right? <laughs> so, uh, and studied a lot of herpetology in college. Um, so yeah, they got me with that. Uh, it looks really cool. It's a flanger. What? <laughs> yeah, no, it's just not something we've spent a lot of time right. with. I think we've done one episode on one pedal that had a flanger incorporated into it, right? Someone mentioned something about a flanger, like, we don't have one. And then we're like, we do. <laughs> it's a feature on the TC Electronic. Right, it was a chorus flanger. That's how much we use it. We didn't even know we had one. <laughs> so this is going to be our first dive into, a, I guess, just a flanger pedal. Um... I don't foresee a series on flangers coming anytime soon. There's other things that we'd like to do, but right. hey, who knows? Maybe, maybe someday. So let's get right into it. Okay. This one's, this is really cool. Uh, one of the things that we like, since we're not like super knowledgeable about flangers mm -hmm. is we were like, well, how can we make it sound like something else? And we were able to do that. <laughs> something, so, something we're more comfortable with. Right, right, right. So <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll dive into that a little bit later, but let's just get into it real quick. Yeah. Um, Layout, if you're into Wallace Audio, layout might look familiar to like the Julia or something like that. Mm -hmm. There's so many great pedals. Um, so to start, we'll read through the knobs here. We have a rate knob at the top. Then we have a depth and a sweep. And these two are interesting. It took us a while. We had to think about them for a little bit to figure out how they work because they actually kind of work together. So mm -hmm. think about it. Let's we'll see if I can get this. Think about it like this. So you have this depth, this range that we will flange through. If you turn the depth the whole way up, you're going to sweep through that whole range. If you turn the depth back, you're going to reduce how much that range you're sweeping through all the way. If you turn it all the way left, it's off. The sweep knob then kind of focuses where that sweep is happening, where that where that depth is sweeping. Are you, follow, are you with me? So I feel like where it peaks on the spectrum this way. If you have the depth the whole way up, the sweep mm -hmm. isn't going to really affect it. Mm -hmm. If you pull the depth down, the sweep is going to then move it along that range. If you pull it all the way to zero, you're going to park wherever you... You're going to park in that spot, and we'll show you that later. Um, really interesting. Really cool. Um, and I will say, I mean, it's... <laughs> I'm bummed there's no expression pedal on right. it out on it because that sweep thing with the depth all the way off is super cool mm -hmm. it's a cool opportunity mm -hmm. for an expression pedal walrus version 2 that would be really we've never we never make suggestions like no, this so colt <laughs> the pga and the beard edition of the uh Monster. if you can pull yourself away from the tiger king <laughs> yes <laughs> second episode's out but a second series but i'm sure you're very aware of that they decide to meet in uh in the bass pro parking lot and so tyler goes down there in and it is the Tiger King himself. Oh it's told as before Netflix and all that stuff, um, obviously because he's in prison and Grady County Jail. But um, <laughs> but uh, he was like, "Hey, you're the you're Joe Exotic," and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm Joe Exotic." Yeah. Uh, he's like, "I just try to get rid of the studio. I'm just trying to get rid of all these lights." And now he's like, "I gotta get out of the country. I gotta get out of here. I gotta do something." And you know, it's kind of like. <laughs> He was kind of looking off in the distance and Tyler was trying to talk to him, but his brain was just like super heavy and clouded. And this was probably uh, early 2009, 2018, kind of right around there. Uh, and so he came back to the shop. He's like, you guys are not going to believe who I bought these lights from. He's like, Joe Exotic, like the guy that ran for governor. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. For a minute. Yeah, right. <laughs> the libertarian guy. It was like, oh, how cool. That's so interesting. Feedback is how much of the dry signal, the signal you're feeding back through into the right. flanger. Right. And then D, F, V, D would be dry. So you turn it all the way off, you have a dry signal. 50% flanger, 100% you're getting the vibrato territory, which means you could use this as like a standalone vibrato pedal, which is really <laughs> fantastic too. Two small switches, the first one all the way up sine wave, pull it down one, you have a triangle wave, pull it down one, you have a random waveform, which that's awesome. Um, 
And then the other one in the bottom position, you have more base, more traditional style flanger, pop it up, take some low end out, and you have something kind of unique and new. That's really cool. And then I guess the last feature would be the foot switch. Now they didn't give us an expression pedal, but they did give me, like when I when I saw that you could make this into a vibrato pedal, I thought of right. uh, how you use a vibrato pedal with that momentary switch on it. You can step on mm -hmm. it and it comes on at the end of a chord or something, right. take your foot off, and you'll notice if I press and hold, light comes on, take my finger off, light goes off. So it actually has a momentary built in. Soft switch, turn it on, turn it off, press and hold, it stays on. Super nice. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. That was a lot. There was a lot, but there's a lot to the pedal. So how do you want to approach, do we need to turn every knob, and uh, probably not every knob individually. Would it be better just to kind of play a little bit and yeah. turn some knobs? Let's do that. Um, again, not flanger experts, but we do have a drive pedal that we pulled out. <laughs> it's not, probably not a drive pedal. More of a distortion, distortion pedal, pedal, yeah. yeah. Uh, we pulled out the Era. Is it Eras? Eras, yeah. Uh, by Walrus 2, right out of the box, we didn't even turn a knob. Nope. <laughs> so the way they said it. Pulled it out and put it on there. <laughs> so I'll let you play a little bit, move some knobs around. I'll start with the depth in the sweep. But I'm playing the Tyler uh, JT22. Oh, my gosh, where have I been? Like, we recorded last week. Into, now, this is one I haven't really played on the show much. This is your Hot Rod. It's a 50s Hot Rod Telecaster. I don't know the year. You have to take the neck off to find the year, and I'm not that oh, oh, curious. Just gonna see we'll get right to that, right? I'm not that right, curious. Right here. <laughs> I don't even know what this thing does. Is it a toothbrush? Yeah. All right, so uh, my, my clean tone. Uh, we'll have the Dismatch Master on. Set a little bit different today, because I'm going to attempt to maybe think I'm Andy Summers a little bit later. He did a just a one repeat, pretty much. Uh, like big open chords, uh, middle position, everything wide open. Such a nice amp. Thing? Was that the random? That's the random. So one thing when you were doing that, when you had the depth up high, I was wondering what it would be like you slow the rate way down. I think it should get really wide, right?
I think with that slow like that, I think the second position, the triangle, mm-hmm. had more of a pretty cool. Um, just because, <laughs> should we do kind of the same thing with the ages on? Or the air is on. Yeah. Keep saying ages. Because we have that one as well. You've been using the ages for a long time. Mm-hmm. For ages. Um, we'll go back to 50 on everything. And just move some things around with some drive. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be the flanger riff, right? Yeah, sure. Right. So. Barracuda. It's a it's a iguana. It disguises a barracuda. Um there's some really great I think about Eric Johnson, which I am obviously not. There are some great flange tones he uses on some of the leads on some of his earlier records that were just amazing. I can't begin to get to that uh with those intervals and the and the string skipping, but that sweep is kind of what does it. It's really cool. Sweep is very cool. It's 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 not an effect that we've played with a lot. Right. So But there's some other effects that we have played with more. Right, right. That we can so, do a facsimile thereof. Right. Um let's start with you. Uh chorus so andy summers yeah so i've loved the police i've loved andy summers and uh you know it's probably until we started to do this youtube channel i always thought he was just using some big wide chorus but he was really using electric mistress uh, flanger uh, with with, uh, obviously a a modulation on it of course flanger is a modulation and that's what that's what he used uh it wasn't a, a chorus pedal but he took flanger and so slowed they, it down and so they say if you turn the feedback way down so we go with less feedback you're gonna get more of those um chorus type tones so let's start with the depth and the sweep kind of at noon turn the feedback down and i'm actually gonna bump the dfv switch i'm gonna bump that a little bit towards vibrato so we bring in more of the vibrato less of the dry single And then, you know, you can tell me what to switch or we'll try and get something close to what you like. Right. been tweaking more but i yeah, also it, feel it sounds pretty good you get to a point where yeah i was very distracted by the sound and played horribly but yeah it's great it's i always thought it was chorus who knew so if we take this vibrato turn that all the way up and then why don't you strum just a little bit and we'll try and find that vibrato sound something close to what you would use right right 
Speed up just a little bit, maybe. Maybe. So, but a lot of time, not using that. Yeah. When, when being across the other side of the stage from Pat, I hear a lot. Doesn't use it like on all the time throughout right. a chorus or whatever. Would use it more like. Like and, the end of a phrase or, yeah. like and, and a lot of times more if I'm playing a Strat with a compressor. I get kind of that nice 80s spank to it. Um, so it really is at the end of a phrase or, or like a So why don't you chord. play and yeah. I'll, I'll be your... We're going to turn this off and we're going to use that momentary feature. Yeah. All right. It's hard to know when you want. Yeah. But we were talking about that because mm -hmm. it sounds kind of weird if you hit it after the chord starts, but if right. you can hit right. it like as you're doing the chord, it doesn't have that abrupt change to it. it sounds pretty cool. Um Leslie-ish tones? All right. So backing the vibrato off a little bit. Bringing the rate up quite a bit. Uh, I'm not sure on those two. I think I'm going to go down to the triangle setting. And I think when we try to dry run <laughs> with a wet effect, I feel like you had it with the low end taken out, like that setting. Well, why don't you, you can flip back and forth yeah. between that. So This one here, right? Yeah. 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 And then probably between the middle and the top. So that's triangle wave which probably gives a little more of the throb mm -hmm. it's going to be a fast leslie sound not going to be your slow leslie sound david gilmore's not showing up yeah you go slow you're going to get more into a flange or more into right. a chorus Like you can almost put it in our tremolo comparison guy or our um yeah. leslie comparison guy <laughs> you could uh it's really i think it, 
and I mean, a little more tweaking or whatever, but I, I, I feel like it gets close to some of the mm-hmm. sounds we're getting out of the other Leslie pedals we, we're doing. Now, if you like the slow Leslie. Yeah, because to that point, let me just slow the rate down while you play, and you can see it doesn't get slow. is the Doppler effect, I think. It, it gets more... It becomes a flanger. Right. Yeah. Imagine that. Who knew? <laughs> he knew. This guy knew. <laughs> yeah, it becomes a flanger. But it's... um, Like, I wouldn't buy it. Oh, I want a Leslie sound. I'm going to buy that to be my Leslie sound. Right. But if I was looking maybe for a flanger and I wanted to have other options with that flanger, because a right. modulation pedal takes up space, and if you can get a flanger, a chorus, a Leslie sound that you're happy with out of those mm-hmm. that works for you, then that's really cool. Uh, the one sound that I really found that I like, and it's just whatever, um, if we turn... Oh, that's right. The depth, the depth back, all that the way, it, right? Yeah, turn that all the way down. And at that point, I'm not even sure that speed would matter because it's not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. It's just parking it. Um, we'll get more on the flanger. Maybe the feedback up a little bit. And then if you want to move, yep. slowly move we'll that around. It. We'll do it with your clean tone first. Envelope filter series. Can, can we get a sound from the doodah man out of this guy? I forget, <laughs> like maybe here. <laughs> it was. No, but I mean, it's 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 really cool. It has yeah. like a really kind of funky mm-hmm. sound to it. Mm-hmm. That's why I was saying if you had a little bit like the expression pedal right. on that knob, I think would be really cool that you could kind of move that. So almost you could control the rate of the flanger then. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty neat. I think it sounds cool moving that knob. That setting, I think, sounds cool with the... Uh, Will that be what they get to enjoy on the play out? Or I think we could do a little bit of that real quick. Right. Um, yeah, let's just... All right. we well, here, you want to get the flavor of that without this, this guy only. <laughs> Gosh, that's inspiring. You maybe even found a vibe in there. <laughs> you could yeah. even cop a little vibe sound if you needed to. That that's 
It's really cool. It's inspiring. Everything we've been playing through it tonight, I've, mm-hmm. been, I've been really digging. Um, it's really nice. It is. And maybe because it's a, new, a newer effect to us. Right, but, noobs. Uh, <laughs> I really, I get lost in that one. So, anything else? Other than um, Colt, the second pedal is called the Chameleon, and it has an expression pedal. And the, and the eye lights up when you turn it on. <laughs> the chameleon i mean really honestly like i don't know my lizards i could say that's a chameleon but like because it does so many different things and it does it well it's it's really cool with the different options on the toggle switches where you get from totally dry to flange to vibrato and in there you can find a leslie you can find a chorus maybe even a poor man's vibe it'd be really cool if they could give us a pedal where it's just that depth all the way down and you just have one knob maybe no knob maybe it's just an expression pedal for the sweep because right. that that sound to me was really interesting and i said to pat earlier i'm not sure i can think of another pedal that mm-hmm. does that where you can kind of sweep and park the flange and when you had it all the way down had that really metallic almost like ring modulation thing to it i don't know, i just think it's really cool i think it was a lot of fun and with the drive on it just becomes a whole nother drive distortion <laughs> with the distortion on it became pretty cool yeah those pedals play well together so very cool um Anything else to say? No, all joking aside, it's a fantastic pedal, and you did a great job. We don't normally like recommend changes and stuff, but it's it's amazing. And the graphics, it's just they hit a home run. Yeah. Well, and not that we're recommending a change, maybe. <laughs> we're just saying expression pedal would be nice. Right. Plus, who knows what the topography, what that would mean? But I mean, without it, I think it's. Oh my gosh! Yes. And I guess, Walrus, when you do the things that you've done with the Mako series and the other pedals, we know <laughs> yeah, you guys, it's proven you can do just about anything you want. You can so. get pretty cray-cray. So, yeah, I think amazing. Boy, that air sounded nice. Mm-hmm. Without flipping any knobs or turning any, or turning any knobs or flipping any, I don't think there's any switches to flip. No. But um, we have to come back to that one soon. So... Always take a minute to thank everybody that's watching, hitting the subscribe button, clicking notification bell, likes, comments. Anytime you interact with the show, it really helps us out and helps us to keep bringing cool stuff like this to you. Um, I wonder if they can tell. Like, this isn't fake. Right. Because <laughs> if this were a scripted pitch, this would be horrible. <laughs> right. Like This is really, this is like a first reaction. It's almost like an unboxing and a quick look with a quick perusal of the manual just to get some ideas. But it, it was inspiring. It's been here for a little while. Yeah. And I've been afraid of it. Right. I keep, like, we, we haven't done a flanger. I even said to Pat, I don't even know why I ordered a flanger because <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with this. And uh, maybe you're wondering that too. But um, <laughs> it's fantastic. I'm glad we broke it out tonight. Yeah. So, with that. I'm PJ on behalf of the beard, reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear.
much. No. 